at you of the night. We have a special video here for a very special, special unboxing. Little story. Uh, this was my first X Plus figure that I ever saw. Saw a review for it. I did some more research, saw several other reviews on it. Originally, I wanted this to be my first X Plus figure when I first saw the review of it. However, let's just say the prices drastically went up. So, I kind of gave up. But, through Diamond, I have a chance to make that right and add this one to my collection. Once again, I'd like to thank uh, Vampire Robots giving them a chance. This time, not as many uh, packaging peanuts. What's this? Well, of course you saw the uh, title and the thumbnail or whatever it's called. We have the Diamond reissue of the X Plus 30 centimeter Godzilla 1984. I have been hunting for this figure for quite some time and everywhere I would go, the prices were ridiculous. I did have a chance to get it. Um, so I'm selling the Rick version of it, and uh, good price. Oh, let's get the funds together. Then I went back to do the, you know, contact them, and pretty much Facebook changed its entire layout. It's like, like, like a divine force somewhere stopped me from getting this figure, because I couldn't find the sale feature to go back and try to buy from. Then I tried looking it up, couldn't find it. The only place I could find is. 800 bucks, 900 bucks, a thousand bucks, but enough. It's got some freshness to it. Here he is inside of his plastic casket. Ah, wire cutters. Tail in one piece. Good. There's gloves. And bootsies. My weight, this guy is a date with a blow dryer. Here we are. 
a long journey of collecting this figure from the film Godzilla 1984. Also, Godzilla 1985. We have the X Plus 30 centimeter Godzilla 1984 diamond reissue and tail lickety split got it right on no problems okay. I'm in shock I'm in a state of awe I did not believe I was ever going to be able to own this figure because the way how the prices were and the way how this is such a popular figure, and it's just so beautiful. Once again, thank you very much, Diamond, for reissuing this. Thank you for all you wonderful people who are in charge of your websites selling this figure over again. You have Vampire Robots, who I decided to get the figure with. We have, you know, Flossie's Gifts as well. You have uh, Big Bad Toy Store, which... Uh, as far as X Pluses are concerned, they're a little more pricier, but all else fails, I guess go there. But, alright, so let's get into the figure. So this is definitely the suit uh, sculpt. Now there was the uh, Cybot in the figure, uh, not the figure, in the movie as well, but this is definitely the suit. He's got gorgeous teeth, all individually sculpted, big red tongue to the nose looking great the face he has that open roaring face just looking awesome also they also have him looking up a lot in this oh while looking at it I see that the tail has a little bit of articulation to it I guess this was a spot that it could have been where it was originally two pieces but whatever got the ears to the side while he has his bloodshot eyes looking angry as Ever as he wakes up from his nap. Some say it's the same Godzilla from the 54 film. Uh, no, it's not. It's a different Godzilla, but you know. And to get on to the neck, we get some closer look at that uh, tree bark skin. You know, charcoal gray color scheme throughout the body. Look over at the uh, dorsal plates. You know, they're not really bone white they're more like a grayish color which is fine it looks great okay let's move on to the chest chest has that a uh, position where his arms are up like he's you know stomping through the city he has his arm like he's smashing into buildings or like he's in uh, a mid breathing of his fire so good stuff down to the waist looking great very movie accurate as we look at the legs the knees and the shins looking great now to the feet now the, this is the thing I really liked about the uh, Heisei series is they brought the four toed scheme back to uh, Godzilla I never really liked the three toes I don't know why I just didn't really like three toes on I like four toes but okay you yeah. know once again, not really a bone white uh, color for his nails. He has more of like a yellow, kind of like in his uh, teeth. And great, as well as the fingernails as well. And the tail comes around and goes off to his left. So he's going to have his own little spot up on the shelf. But that's last thing, let's look at the dorsal plates. He has that one massive dorsal plate towards his lower back looks great as we have all the individually sculpted ones on there as well this figure is gorgeous that's pretty much my uh, review of the Godzilla 84 X plus figure it is breathtaking I highly recommend okay I'll put some links in the description where you can order yours I highly recommend, you know, if you're looking for a Christmas present for a Godzilla fan, definitely get this, unless they are Iona, of course, but, you know, it's a thought that counts, I guess, but, uh, that's pretty much it, a uh, brief yet gorgeous figure, diamond reissue, thank you very much again, now, 
The one thing that uh, I do want to get in towards the future is probably the 25 centimeter uh, Godzilla 84 because it comes with the Super X. Or one other thing that I'd like uh, X Plus to do, and this is kind of like a little difference between uh, what they do normally with uh, Kaiju, Ultraman, and stuff like that, like vehicles. You know, you got the Super Xs, you know, you can do uh, uh, Gotengo or Atragon, you know, just ideas like that. But more ships would be pretty cool in the future as well as their own individual uh, things. I wouldn't mind spending money on a Super X. That'd be pretty cool. I mean, I got the Super X too. That came with the 25 centimeter Godzilla 89, but now I'm just rambling. That's the review. This is Godzilla 84 from the film Godzilla 1984, the X plus 30 centimeter diamond reissue. Hope you all enjoyed this. Um, you all have a good night. Happy holidays. This guy's going to join his, uh, well, new family up on the shelf. All right. Hope you all have a good night. See you all later.